Penny 11 claims to be faster than Windows 11, but how much faster is it really? Let's find out. Hi, this is Neil from Harbor of Ted. We're starting with Geekbench 6 CPU benchmark on full Windows 11 first. This is sped up to 16x to save your time. You can see the test running through single core and then multi core benchmarks. Now the same test on Tiny 11. Also at 16x speed. And the results are in. Spoiler alert, Tiny11 demolished Windows 11 in this test. It scored over 500 points higher in single core and nearly 2000 points higher in multi core. That's a huge lead considering both tests ran on the same hardware with no background apps. Let's move to the next benchmark now. Next up is Cinebench R23, a real world CPU stress test that's widely used for measuring both single and multi core performance. We're starting with Windows 11 on the multi core test first. This is running at 4x speed to save time. The test pushes all CPU threads to the limit. If you run this test, you'll notice the fans ramp up and CPU temps rise fast. It takes a while, but finally the score comes in. Now we run the single core test on Windows 11 at 60x speed. This focuses on just one core, so it takes even longer in real time but gives us a solid idea of per core efficiency. And done. We've got our scores. You might be wondering what on earth a lot it is. It is a Windows optimizer app built by me that improves the performance of your PC for daily tasks and gaming. It is not mandatory but is used with Tiny11 gives quite a boost. It is a one-time payment tab at only $10. I'll link it in the description. You can check it out if you want. Now we repeat the exact same process on Tiny11. Here's the multi-core test on Tiny11 at 40x. You'll see that even though the test is identical, it finishes a bit faster. That's due to fewer background processes eating CPU cycles. Now onto the single core test at 60x. Again, this test is slower by nature but still quicker than on full windows. Time for results. Tiny11 took a clear win in Cinebench. It beat Windows 11 by over 3,400 points in multi-core performance and scored about 400 points higher in single core. That's not a small cap. This shows how much leaner and more efficient Tiny11 is out of the box without unnecessary background tasks or telemetry running before moving on to the gaming benchmarks. Let us talk about the sponsors of this video. Tired of seeing the activate Windows message in the corner of your screen? Want a clean activated system without spending too much? Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, KeysFan. They sell genuine Windows and Office keys that actually work. No subscriptions, no shady sites, just legit keys that activate instantly. I've tried it myself and the process is simple and fast. They're also offering special coupons just for viewers of this channel. Use the code HT62 to get 62% off all Office products and HT50 to get 50% off all Windows keys. Whether you're building a new system or setting up a secondary PC, this is the most affordable and reliable way to activate your Windows. All the links you need are in the description. Now we'll test 3 games, Cyberpunk 2077, Grand Theft Auto 5, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Enjoy the time last.
The average FPS was higher across all tested games on Tiny11. The 0.1% lows did vary, but Tiny11 held strong in 2 out of 3 titles. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This is Harbor of Tech signing off.